It really, really sucks that I'm having to make this video, but I want to start off by saying I was wrong. Uh, I always try to admit when I was wrong on the channel, um, this may be a much bigger problem than originally anticipated currently for current sealed product that is out there, which is a lot, an absolute lot. Now, what I'm talking about is <clears throat> CT scanning to see sealed packs in sealed boxes, what cards are inside. I made a video about this uh, a little while ago, not too long ago. And, you know, I got some interesting comments on that. A lot of people uh, were saying that investing is dead, sealed, uh, sealed investing. And th I don't think that that's necessarily the case. We're going to dive into this a little bit more. Um, I had some comments saying that I shouldn't be telling you guys about this. Um, and I did want to address that real quick. And with what's going on with this, um, this is going to be public knowledge, okay? Just like weighing packs. And I, I stand by uh, that you guys should be aware that this is possible. Um, I'm not a very big channel currently anyways, so it's not like I'm alerting a lot of people. If I'm being honest, there's much bigger channels covering this. Um, so I understand your guys' concern, but I'm not, I'm not raising awareness. So when we talked about this before... Um, what alleviated a lot of my concern was that uh, these machines are very expensive and, you know, the, you ha there's some work that has to be done uh, to dial this in to, you know, make this achievable. And my thought process was, you know, not a lot of people are going to be able to afford this machine first off. And then second off, like how many boxes do they have, right, uh, to be able to scan. Now, this changes the game because this company, as you guys can see right here, um, I do apologize, I'm still under the weather, My, you guys can probably hear it. Um, pack scanning, 75 per pack for one to five packs, then they drop it down to 70, and 65 for 11 plus. Now, um, I'll be interested to know, let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this? They're saying that they believe that this should be offered to everybody. And that's what they're saying. Um, that's why they're offering this as a service. But uh, I don't know if I agree, to be completely honest. But there is, I think there is going to be a silver lining. One, I can say, mm, not for certain, but fairly for certain. And I don't know when this will happen, but at some point, uh, Pokemon and then all these other card makers, uh, we'll talk about it, will have to be, they'll be implementing something in the boxes to make this, one, either impossible or two, just very, very difficult uh, in the future. So that, and I understand that does not affect any of the boxes that are out there now. But um, currently, uh, they have not announced their per box price. You can see that right here. And, you know, at 75 per pack, uh, what kind of packs is this going to be affecting? Um, this is going to be higher end stuff because who's going to want to spend $75 per pack to, you know, to see if you have something in it, right? That's going to be very expensive packs. So my initial my initial thought process is that this is going to affect just the highest end of stuff. Um, for the boxes, depending on the pricing, um, they do say later that it's difficult to scan boxes uh, because the cards need to be flat and they're not always flat. And so I, I'm, I'm wondering how much that's going to be. Um, is it going to be, because, you know, Evolving Skies boxes are like 700 or I would imagine if they're charging 75 per pack, that it's going to be several hundred dollars to scan a box. So if you have an Evolving Skies box, or several, are you going to want to spend, I don't know, I'm going to estimate here that it's going to be at least 200 if not $300 to scan a box. You're going to want to spend 700 on a box, and then two to 300 to have it scanned. I don't see that particularly happening. Now you're talking about like team up boxes, other boxes that are a lot more expensive uh, with sports cards. I see this becoming a big problem uh, because there's autographs and serial stamped numbers that are probably much easier to identify uh, than Pokemon cards. 
and a lot of those sports card boxes are very expensive. There's, uh, you know, I mean, it's the same thing for like vintage, like shadowless uh, base set boxes. Uh, anything vintage for Pokemon is probably going to be suspect to this. So um, let's let's be real for a second. I'm just going to pull you guys out for a second. Let's just be real for a second. Most of what we, uh, the average collector or investor is getting as far as sealed product currently and um you know props to you guys if you're getting more expensive stuff but it's it's mostly we're by, we're getting below msrp stuff and we're not really at least currently um looking to sell i'm not and so it might just change the investing approach now uh, I'm, I'm kind of developing some thoughts as i'm going here uh because people aren't going to want to spend those prices to get their boxes scanned for lower end stuff. It just doesn't make sense. So there's going to be a certain price point where um, moving forward, say uh, we'll talk about, you know, just anything Scarlet and Violet, right? Say you're buying uh, boxes sub 100, you know, even in the $80 below MSRP, right? And then uh, the prices, you know, however many years down the road, they get up to, I don't know, even even 200 bucks, but I'm going to say like three, 350, 400. Maybe that becomes more people's uh, selling point because you have good profit numbers there. And maybe you don't want that box to get up into the 800,000 plus dollar range because um, currently, I mean, if more companies come out with this stuff and the scanning becomes cheaper, then that's a big, big problem. Um, but currently, you know, um, we might just have to adjust uh, what we're doing, but I also do stand by um, that there will be honest sellers, right? Honest sellers with an honest reputation. And while the price of the boxes might end up coming down because of this, I, I like to have a little bit of faith in humanity that there's going to be some good sellers out there and um, that Pokemon investing is not going to die. It didn't die with pack weighing. I talked about this in the last video. It didn't just die. Um, pack weighing was a big, big, big problem. Uh, it's, it still is, obviously, for the vintage stuff. Really, I mean, whew. but um, you know, it didn't. It didn't really kill it. So, just want to make people aware of what is going on because I do think it's important. So, that's kind of my take. Um. Maybe the investing is going to switch over to singles more, you know, um, it's entirely possible as well. We're going to just take it in strides. I'm not shaking in my boots personally. I'm still going to be buying sealed boxes. I'm not worried. Okay. Um, that's just my approach. And if you guys are, if you guys are wanting to sell out all your sealed collection, um, I can understand that. And I'm not going to hate on you guys for doing that. You guys have to do what you think's best with your money and, um, that's, you know, do what you think is best. I, um, so yeah, I'm not really super worried moving forward, but, uh, this is a bigger problem than I, I originally anticipated. And I wanted just to come out and say that, um, let's just get back into this real quick. Let's just talk about, um, what they're, what they got going on. Obviously we talked about the pricing. Um, they have some ex more examples here. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're working on the booster boxes right here. This is where they say, um, Packs inside these boxes are not flat, which is necessary for viewing. Okay, so that's why the booster boxes are a lot harder. They're working on technique for that. Um, I'll tell you where this is a good thing that they talk about, you know. Um, and, and I talked about this in, in my last video was authenticating boxes. Now, I think there's a difference between authenticating and peaking, right? Uh, everyone knows about the Logan Paul box that had G.I. Joe cards, right? This would be a great way to authenticate, right? You don't want to know what's in there per se, um, but if you're buying shadowless base set boxes, you know, consider it. So, um, you guys can see right here, like this is what they see. You can tell that's a Charizard. You can tell this is a Venusaur. Okay. This is a scan of a Twilight Masquerade box. You can see what they got going on here. You can see they're able to tell a Zapdos. Now here's the, uh, evolving skies. This one's a little harder to tell, but they're able to see exactly what it is. And, uh, yeah, so this is, this is where it does become a problem with higher end boxes. Once again, it's going to depend on pricing. It's going to depend on other companies, but this is what is out there. And 
I, it's important for people to know. I, I really stand by that. And, and you, if you guys don't like it, that's fine. Let me know. But I, I just, yeah, I'm going to let that go. But, um, you know, and they got sports cards here. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Lorcana, One Piece, Magic, everything. Everything is at risk for this. So uh, the, the, the companies are going to have to start uh, working on this to the card manufacturers, right? Um, so, you know, the, you guys can check this out and they, they do a lot of stuff, right? So that's, it's kind of a little bit of a downer. Um, I do apologize. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remain positive about it, but you know, it's a little bit of a hit, uh, to us, I think. So, um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I would really, really love to see your guys, uh, opinions in the comments. Please let me know exactly what you think. Um, I want to hear your guys' takes. Um, let's get the conversation started about this, what this means. Um, and try and be realistic and you know i i still think even if it becomes fairly rampant like i said I, pokemon is too um it is too big of a franchise to just fail and have these box prices just absolutely tank because of this and once they find a solution also to um last closing thought when pokemon company finds a solution to this and I, I don't know what they have to do to the boxes i haven't looked it up right I, I know that they can be blocked or distorted right it's not impossible to do whatever they figure out what that is a lot of our investing might just move towards the future okay we're, we're gonna we might restart a little bit um and that might be scary for a lot of us you know if you have uh, a lot of money invested in a lot of boxes that can be scanned which is currently everyone um but that doesn't mean it's going to die. That, that just means we might take a hit. And I do apologize if I'm the bearer of bad news, but uh, I, it's important for you guys to know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Remember, though, I'm going to still be here, right? It was never a phase. I'm still going to be here making content. I'm still going to be into cards, um, opening packs when I can, collecting sealed, grading. I'm not getting out because of stuff like this.